Meantime, public opinion is tense on the kidnap of students and staff of the Zampara State College of Agriculture of Animal Sciences. The stakeholders are reacting to these with a call for a state of emergency on Nigeria's security and education sectors. Aneta Felix has details. Students of the Zamfara State College of Agriculture and Animal Sciences, bound by their hands, blindfolded, surrounded by terrorists and pleading to be saved. Fifteen students and four teachers of the school were kidnapped on Sunday, while four others died in the attack. On Plus TV Africa's breakfast show, public affairs analyst Nick Agule calls out the president of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari, for failing to fulfill his promise to protect school children. President Muhammadu Buhari looked the nation in the face directly and told the nation that the kidnapping, the school kidnapping that happened was it in Niger State some months ago will be the last school kidnapping in Nigeria. And since the president made that statement, we have had several school kidnappings thereafter. What we expect that if a president looks the citizens in the face and makes a commitment, that he actually has the mind to follow through on that commitment. He also suggests ways to track the location of the bandits. Government could have installed trackers on those bikes before they were handed over to the kidnappers. And once the bikes were handed over to the kidnappers, the government have been pointed with precision where those bikes are moving. And they can go to that particular spot, round up the bandits, kill them or arrest them, depending on their choice. According to Aguli, it's high time the government declared a state of emergency on Nigeria's education sector. They need to declare emergency in the security sector and we need a, a state of emergency in the education sector. But the government of Nigeria has not taken even simple steps like that, where they can put a communication system in place with every school giving a dedicated phone line to call for security response if their school is under attack. The abductors are demanding a ransom of 350 million naira before they would release them. But the government is yet to respond. Aneta, Felix, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.